Hey guys, I'm so King of the Production of Fresh YouTube video, and today, you know what it is. It's Friday. The Friday before Extreme Rules. I'm hyped, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be recording a lot of videos. I'm gonna try and get a lot of videos uploaded this weekend. Um, I'm just gonna. Uh, so, let's get right into the predictions. Um, I'm gonna try and draw this video out a bit. Make it a bit longer, because uh, they've been kind of short lately. And, uh, yeah, let's do it! Alright, Baron Corbin versus Dolph Ziggler in a no disqualifications match. That will be good. Uh, hopefully, if they give it time, Baron Corbin's going to win. Uh, I want Baron Corbin to win, because he lost at the last pay-per-view to Dolph, and I didn't think that was right. And now Baron Corbin's wearing these weird jean khaki things in his matches, and no one understands it. They're, they're like brown, and no one likes it. I, apparently, no one likes them. I don't like them, but I... Uh, I really want this match to go ten minutes, at the most. Uh, have them beat the crap out of each other, let... Um, let Ziggler bump for Corbin, and yeah, we'll be good. Uh, Kalisto versus Rusev for the U.S. title. Uh, Rusev. Rusev, because I think the uh, United States title has kind of been just thrown away since uh, Cena left, and, you know, Del Rio had the title. and Yeah, but uh, at the end there, when Cena was getting ready to leave, when he just dropped the belt to Del Rio, um, I, I thought he was, like, kind of setting up for another world title reign. Uh, I don't know if anyone else got that vibe, but I thought Cena was going to come back and do another title reign. Uh, I'm going to talk about this in a different video, but um, I wanted Cena to come back and... I kind of want Cena to come back and go in for the world title reign um, and not worry about the U.S. title. So, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Dean Ambrose versus Chris Jericho in the first ever Asylum match. Give it time, and it will be... One of the best matches on the card because Chris Jericho can go, Dean Ambrose can go. Uh, they're both great competitors. Uh, and so far, I'm predicting that no weapons are going to be used in that match. I think it's just going to be a fight. Um, and I think the winner will indefinitely be Dean Ambrose because he needs it more than Chris Jericho. Uh, Dean Ambrose has lost a lot. Recently and before Mania, Mania and out before uh, he has lost a lot, and he finally got the win um, at the last pay per view. At least I think he did. Uh, and Jericho really doesn't need the win because he's a six-time world champion. He doesn't need it. Um, but you know that's just my stupid opinion, internet fan opinion, I guess. Um, next up, uh, New Day versus Vault Villains for the tag titles. Uh, yeah, duh, New Day. I'm gonna go with New Day because I don't think Vault Villains are the right team to end it, but they might. I'm not sure. That's a hard pick. Um, yeah, I just hope it goes 10 minutes. I hope no one gets a concussion. Uh, <laughs> uh that's not funny. Um, but it is. Uh, Charlotte versus Natalia submissions match. Honestly, I don't know. I think I'm gonna get flack for saying this, but. The more this Divas Revolution go, the longer this Divas Revolution goes on, the more I start to get annoyed by it because they're not giving the Divas matches time, uh, the time that it needs, so desperately needs. Uh, the thing with, I and I don't like Ric Flair uh, at Charlotte's side. I don't like it. Um, I think it's stupid. I think it's stupid. See yawns. They up. I think it's really stupid, and I don't like uh, Ric Flair ringside. I hope this is the end of it uh, with Natalia beating Charlotte for the Women's Championship, because I kind of want to see Natalia have that one last uh, ride to glory, and then just done. I mean, I know she's not that old, and she's kind of, yeah, but uh, she would be good. Like She would be like a female Jericho who can put over talent. Uh, really well if she wanted to, but I think her, you know, her tenure is coming to an end, um, slowly but surely. Uh, as much as I hate it and I love Natalia, but it, I think it's slowly but surely coming to an end. Uh, but off that note, uh, Sami Zayn, 
Oh, yeah, Miz, Sami Zayn, Cesaro, Owens for the Intercontinental title. Uh, yeah, Kevin Owens. We're going to go with KO because KO, I think KO will win because, like, it only makes sense to continue him in Sami Zayn for the IC title and then have Cesaro feud with Miz for a while as, like, kind of a mid to low card uh, feud that can go on for a while and be on and off and not need a title. Because th I think those two could carry a feud without the title. Uh, Miz definitely being on the mic. <laughs> Miz using the mic and then, you know, Cesaro carrying the matches, which would be what it was. Um, no, I mean, no offense to Cesaro. Uh, I mean, he can talk a lot better than he could before, but I don't think he's great on the mic. Um, yeah. Uh, Usos and the Guns and Gallows, or the club, or whatever. Uh, the Usos versus Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, Texas Tornado, uh, Tornado Tag. Oh, that's gonna be tough. I wanna, I'm gonna say, boy, I'm gonna say, that, I'm gonna go with the club, man. The club, man. Too sweet. Um, I'm gonna go with Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, cause yay. Um, yeah, I think they're gonna end, they're gonna win with the Magic Killer. Definitely. Magic Killer. Boom. Finish. Yeah. Alright. Main event time. Roman Reigns, AJ Styles for the World Heavyweight Championship Extreme Rules match. Uh, I was hoping this would be a last man standing match, but it's not. And, uh, <sighs> Roman Reigns is gonna win. I, uh, because of course Roman Reigns is gonna win. His freaking he's so untalented. It, it's not even funny. I don't I don't even dislike him. It's just he's not good. You know, he's not bad in the ring, but his mic skills like counteract that. He's so green. Like, I don't understand why they would put Roman Reigns with AJ Styles to have the match of AJ Styles life, which was the real the real match of his life was the match with Shinsuke at, um, Russell Kingdom. Okay. Uh, that was a car. <laughs> um, but I, th I want AJ to win, but Roman Reigns is going to win. Uh, it's gonna be something stupid, like the Usos are gonna get involved. Or, you know what? You never know. Like, Balor could come out and help, uh, you know, Finn Balor and the rest of them could come out and attack... AJ, or attack Roman, and, um, have AJ put him up in the Styles Clash through a table or something, and then pin him, one, two, three, and then have the big crying, the, boy the boyhood dream moment that should definitely be a WrestleMania moment, I don't know why they're doing an Extreme Rules, or a SummerSlam moment. Uh, that, I, I'm kind of going with that theory, that they're not gonna have Styles take the title till SummerSlam, and then he'll you know, have the world title and keep it to, like, WrestleMania and then drop it to Shawn Michaels or something. You know, <laughs> Shawn Michaels. Uh, no, I'm, I'm lying. He, Shawn Michaels. Why would, why would he drop it to Shawn Michaels? Shawn Michaels isn't even... He, he's a Hall of Famer. He, you know, I don't, I don't know why I, I said that, but that was stupid. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, please do like, comment, subscribe. Leave your predictions in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye.